morning, I'm Nathan and today is Thursday, December 9th. In today's news, tomorrow's 12 days of Christmas theme is flannel, Friday, or blue and white, Wimber spirit, or red and green Christmas spirit. There will be a brief middle school student council meeting today, December 9th, in Mrs. Manipo's room at 2.10 p.m. This will be quick, so please do your best to attend. The school store will be open this Friday and next Friday. NHS will be selling candy grams from the 13th to the 17th for a dollar apiece, and they will be delivered the 22nd and 23rd. Show your friends you care this holiday season. TSA work sessions are happening after school on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday this week. Work sessions will go until 4 p.m. Be there if you can to work on your projects. Seniors are reminded to turn in senior short orders and money, if applicable, to Mr. Culp and Mr. McLean by the end of the week this Friday. The Middle School Student Council will be selling candy canes at all lunches on December 9th and 10th. A variety of flavors will be available for donation of 75 cents each or two for a dollar. Get in the holiday spirit with an after lunch treat. There is a shadowing opportunity at Physical Therapy and Balance Center, Winber, PA, for students interested in physical therapy, occupational therapy, and sports medicine. Interested students are to see Mrs. Gardner or Mrs. Spangler in the counseling office for more information. Attention seniors. There are scholarships available for Pennsylvania Highlands Community College. Anyone interested in the Presidential Scholarship and the Emerging Leader Scholarship should see the Guidance Department for more information. Today for lunch, we are having macaroni and cheese, stewed tomatoes, and applesauce. That is all for now. Thanks, and have a great Thursday. Good morning, Wimber. Today is Thursday, December 9th, and today's weather will be chilly with a low of 24 and a high of 39. There will be likely clouds throughout the day starting in the morning. Looking forward to the five-day forecast, the clouds will finally be clearing up. Temperatures will reach 59 degrees on Saturday, and Sunday we will be able to see some sun. Thanks, and have a great day. As you can see from the standings pictured above, the Atlantic Division is very competitive and will be a race till the end. Two of the top teams from this division are set to collide as the Tampa Bay Lightning come into Toronto to take on the Maple Leafs. The Lightning come into Toronto on a four-game winning streak led by Steven Stamkos, who has 12 goals and 28 points, good enough for first on the team up to date. Meanwhile, the Maple Leafs have won 11 of their last 14 games and are led by superstar Austin Matthews, who has 17 goals, which is good enough for third best in the league, as well as 11 assists to go along. With all that being said, I expect a playoff-like game and will be taking the Leafs in a 3-2 victory. No matter what you're going through, there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. What's up, Wimber? We are back with our athlete biography, and today we are going to be taking a look at John Madden. John Madden was born on April 10, 1936. He was the head coach for the Las Vegas Raiders from 1969 to 1978. In 1976, he won a Super Bowl against the Minnesota Vikings 32-14. In 2006, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame in recognition for his coaching career. He was drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles as the 244th overall pick in 1958 NFL draft, but his career ended quickly after a knee injury in his rookie training camp, making it so he never ended up playing an NFL game. The football video game Madden was created by EA Sports and was named after John Madden for his contributions as a coach. That's all for now. Thanks and have a great day. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 